They come in many designs, often inspired by regional animals or foods. Yurukyara are incredibly popular in Japan. There are currently over 1,500 of them. Most of these mascots are made by local governments to promote their community or region. Hikone City in Shiga. This is where the current Yurukyara boom took off. And this is the first really famous Yurukyara, Hikonyang. Hikonyang is a much loved figure in Hikone. This mascot was first designed for the 400th anniversary of Hikone Castle, a national treasure. There's a legend that the Lord of Hikone was once saved by a cat, and he also wore a very distinctive helmet. Hikonyan's design reflects these two motifs. When we first launched Hikonyan, it was quite a new concept, and no one was really familiar with this kind of mascot. Hikonyan was only slowly accepted at first, so a plan was developed. We decided to award Hikonyan a special certificate of residence for Hikone Castle. Hikonyan would mostly give performances in the castle. You could meet Hikonyang any time by visiting the castle. Then they had another idea. By giving permission to use the Hikonyan design, they ensured its image would appear throughout the town. This was a huge success. From dolls to toys and confectionery, Hikonyang could soon be seen everywhere in Hikone. even on traditional sweet snacks like this. But About half of our, our sales are items featuring Hikonya. And in the tourist season that goes up to 60 or 70 percent. A lot of people come to our shops specially to buy them. It's hard to escape Hikonyang when visiting Hikonya. As a PR project it turned out better than anyone dreamed. Hikonyang attracted so many people to the castle's 400-year celebrations that visitors to Hikone more than doubled. The surging demand for Hikonyang merchandise greatly helped the town's economy. Hikonyang was so popular that even after the castle event was over, it was kept on to promote the town. It's the combination of the, the castle the monument, history, and the cute characters together. This is Gumma chan, winner of this year's Grand Prix to choose Japan's most popular Yuru Kiara. Designed to look like a pony, Gumma chan represents Gumma Prefecture. This mascot is extremely popular and has many fans. There's a long tradition in Japan of humanizing animals in art and popular culture. This picture scroll dates to the 12th century. It tells its story using rabbits, frogs and other animals to represent people. You can see the same custom in regional festivals where dancers often wear animal masks and costumes. <laughs> yes, good. Yuru Kara mascots are doing a great job promoting communities around Japan and bringing a bit of fun to people's lives at the same time. <laughs>